Okay, well noted. Yes, Before, yeah. Even as you come in, because mm. we have to speak to Mora at the end of mm -hmm. the day. Mm. There are those parents who can't afford school fees. At the end of the day, they sort of do butter trade with schools, be it mm -hmm. national, extra county, whatnot, that I will give some sort of service to the school or I'll bring my livestock in order to pay for fee since I cannot mm -hmm. afford it. Aren't they cut out after this move by the government to sort of make national schools pay fees through the e-citizen platform? These are some concerns that are arising. What do you have to say? Yeah, and some of those concerns are very valid, while others may not necessarily be valid. Yeah. Like, for instance, the issue that everybody's uh, indicated over here, that maybe there was not sufficient uh, public participation. It's now very clear that the majority of the people go to the courts it's uh, they don't cite uh, public participation or lack of it. It's actually that they were that insurable interest in the process, and when e citizen or when these uh, systems are implemented, then a revenue stream has been disconnected. So they don't go to court because they are serving a public or national interest. They're driven by a selfish interest no, no, no. most can, of the time. You can, generally, yeah. all, all people no, no, who go no, no, to court... No, 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 no. Okay. I, I'm saying this particular instance, mm. most of the time. Mm. Then you raise a very fundamental issue that someone has got livestock that are the ones to go and exchange. Now, if for some reason, and people are saying, can you actually take cows to a citizen? Obviously, it's not a possibility. Yeah. Then uh, the parent has now got this unique opportunity to go to the nearest uh, local market and actually go and sell those products <laughs> so that you can uh, get cash. Because what is the larger picture here? The president has indicated that there are some head teachers or principals who charge levies that are not part of uh, what has been approved by the Ministry of Education. Sure. So to stop that kind of uh, misadventure, to stop that kind of uh, mischief, then uh, let's have this e-citizen, whereby when you make your deposit or when you make pay, there's a very clear trail. Now, when you're implementing any new system, it comes with uh, challenges. So if there's a parent who's got cows, who's got uh, chicken, or who's got uh, firewood, then uh, they may need to go the extra mile, or maybe, to use Yaribo's word, suffer the inconvenience of going to sell it at a, a market, right. and then get the cash and pay. In my view, long term, it's going to work very well. Although, as I indicated earlier on, this is a, it's not a very complicated subject in change management that you identify who are the key stakeholders, and uh, you address their fears, <coughs> then you give them the opportunity to prepare for it. And you in I indicated earlier on that uh, every Kenyan has got a responsibility to go to the courts when they feel offended, whether it's at an individual level, whether it's at a corporate level. But uh, again, we cannot run away from the fact that there are others who go to court, not because they're serving a national interest, or a, a public, a public good, but they are pursuing a very narrow, selfish interest. Okay. And in my view, mm -hmm. when uh, people go to court, it's, it's very good for Kenya, because even in the international development matrix, when you look at World Bank and IMF, when they talk about uh, why you need to do business, Kenya ranks highly because of people going to the courts. In fact, Mseli Mdavadi spoke about it when he was in Japan, when he was telling the Japanese business and corporate leaders right. that we've got a very strong judiciary, okay. which can even stop the president from implementing a policy. So in my view, anybody who feels offended, if uh, I don't like the color of his uh, top, mm -hmm. I can go to court. But uh, is the raison d'etre of going to court very valid? Yes, Does it serve the public or national interest? That is the germane question. You know that I don't like to interfere when he's talking, but I just wanted we're sharing, and I want him to say, if he knows, why is it that it will be the head of state mm. coming on media to discuss that we must implement this through this pay bill? Why is it not his technocrats, his people, who have gone through maybe weeks or months of, you know, testing the, the system, yeah. uh, going through the minister or the principal secretary to say that uh, this is what we intend to work on, we are trying to compare this with the stakeholders and, uh, and, and you know, donors or whoever, so that, so that they prepare the citizens. Why does it come from State House with all the heavy weather? With all, I mean, that is the head of state. Mm. And then everybody has to scamper to implement what the head of state has said. This is what we say is the problem in terms of process. This is definitely a noble idea to make sure that national collection is done through a kitty. But you've seen tourists are complaining that uh, the program has not, I mean, the, 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 the pay bill has not started accepting, you know, uh, uh, dollars. 
maybe through global pay or whatever. Yeah. So why should you come with such high authority and then start to deal with smaller mistakes? Why can't it start from the people? Uh, they do a test, you know, within a certain month, and then the minister comes in and says, you know, it should be, by the time it goes that level, mm -hmm. it should be tamper-proof. This is where the courts come in. They are telling the head of state, just like BBI, you cannot start certain programs. They must start from the people, or at least people must be given a chance to, you know, resonate with the program and accept or reject it. Yeah. Then, even if it is implemented, if you can demonstrate that uh, we are giving people a chance, that's it. But the, 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 the intention is good, definitely. I mean, it, it will stop a lot of pilferage, a lot of, you know, wastage of funds. And like uh, he said himself, the head of state, like, you cannot come in and say, we want uh, 6,000 from your child because we want to appreciate some teacher, you know, stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. so I, I mean, I, I hope teachers don't roast me. Yeah. But the <laughs> point is, you cannot simply pick money from, you know, parents, okay. which we don't know where it goes and there's no accountability. But the way it is being implemented is coming from huge excitement and, 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 and kind of force. And I think the men around the president should clearly explain to him that actually the program is liked. But I think they are only worried that you have to subtly declare it and then we have to. We have to, to, to follow what you have said. Okay. This is where the problem is. Yes. Okay, and just uh, to note uh, the...